Welcome back guys okay. to another Riotic Corp adventure in Surviving Venus, our third attempt, and we're back with Gregador the Only and Blazer, who's joined us again in chat. So, we're going to continue our journey to try to... <laughs> and today hopefully we'll have our battery fully charged and we'll continue working all the way. So I have installed a transformer here, limited to a thousand watts. Yeah. Can't remember what the cables can connect run at, so I figure a thousand is safe. Probably. So this will charge. And blow it up, yep. Okay. I'm good about that. At least I'm not pressing self-destruct buttons. Yep. Okay. Oh, my my tank is full. Oh, Swap. Swapping tanks. I need life support. Life support sucks right at that moment. Down to 11%. What are we building? An actual tank for. Oh. Okay. Waste. Very tank. Are you sure we want to do that again? It blew up last time, remember? No. Well, something blew up. Yeah, I don't know what blew up. Exactly. A thousand watts? These these small cables can hold better more than a thousand, can they not? How much can they hold? I thought they could go up to four thousand. Yeah. We'll test it and see. Put a battery in. Yeah. 4,000 marks. Four thousand marks. Uh and it's nightfall. We can go back outside. <clears throat> I'm gonna put some coal in the generator. No blowing up. Awesome. Awesome. No wires are blowing up. Nice. Our furnace is still cooking. Yeah, the furnace is still burning out there. Let's see. We need more iron. A lot. Time to start mining and expand the base a little more. Now that we have sustainable power, we can start trading. Right, Gregador? Are you there? Gregador? Hello? I'm not the only one here, am I? Oh, there you are. <laughs> family came in and so I turned off my mic and I forgot to turn it back on. Ah. Knock knock. 
What? What? Suit power. Of course. The one thing we can't live without. Suit power. Uh. What's the plans for the next stage of development for the base? Um, at this point, um, pressurization. So double wall? Yeah, because we got steel production, so let's um, go through and set up an actual steel walls all the way around. Okay. So we'll swap out the iron walls and the iron frames and double, pl and yeah, double pane. Okay. But, um, the hydroponics will be a double wall. Yeah. Everything else should be either a solid wall or an actual frame. Okay. So, I just have the glass here just so we can actually keep track of the sun. Yeah. So, I would say next step is to um, build an actual. Is to slowly expand this area to be an actual production facility so we have proper storage and we have a bit more room for our machines. Okay. So I think that's stage one is to expand this area to be actually power fundamental. Okay. So. So we should build the steel around our existing structure. No. Uh, we can do iron frames. Yeah. Maintain cheap, but we'll do double uh, steel, steel, iron windows or steel windows. Yeah. So the composite windows from steel frames, those ones should be double plated for the hydroponics. Okay. So other than that, it'll be iron frames. Okay. So iron frames and steel windows. Gotcha. We've got plenty of steel right now. Because <clears throat> yeah. I, I smelted some too. So you smelted some and I did. Oh crap. Okay. No power. Uh, okay. There's the base. We're going to need to... God, that there. furnace is so bright. Well, it's cooling off though. Yeah, but it's still bright. Cooling off. Um, there's not exactly enough to ignite. Is there enough to do iron? This temperature is at 400. Okay. It needs to be at 1000. So it can't do iron? <clears throat> no, and pressure is almost at max, so basically we need to empty it and then fill it back up, so... Okay, so how do we empty? I've got a bunch of iron on me that we can smell, a bunch of copper. solar panel. Oh, yep. That makes sense. So 4,000 is max. No. Yeah, 4,000. Basically, the solar panel blew because the kit, the uh, coal and the solar panels are on the same panel. Same wire. But the, uh, the transformer is not between those two. That's why it blew, because there's no transformer there to regulate power. Well, I turned up the transformer to 41 to see if it would take any more. Did you build a second transformer up there? No. 
Yeah. So the solar panel and the coal generator are on just one wire. Yeah. Nothing in between them. So the voltage of that wire. So for some reason, the coal generator died. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Just leave the solar panel disconnected, unless we're gonna. But it wasn't having that issue earlier. I don't know why. I don't know. Is there why a I wire went. inside that's burnt at all? Not the. Is there supposed to be a wire right there? Right where? No, nope, it's good there. Okay, then we're good. Alright, uh, battery large on, has been on. Okay. That's good there. Uh, the generator solar fuel is off. Oh wow, the wire outside broke. The furnace. I fixed it. Why was that break? I don't know. Alright. <sighs> ah, please don't require support. Should be able to turn frames. on the generator again. We have frames, 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 frames. Alright. Going to try and gather some more coal before it gets daytime, which it's about to be. So, I'm going to try and gather, gather some to help charge that battery. See if I can find any before it gets daytime. There it is. Some. Not gonna make it. Three times here. Um, a distance from the base. Alright, headed back. Of a distance. Uh, I'm right around the corner, literally. Oh. Come on, go down. Hey, come it, go down. Are oh, you gonna leave me in the heat? No, I'll just let's pull it. Okay. Dang it, didn't reconnect the solar panel. No, I couldn't. I've got the generator going. Oh, okay. To charge the battery. Hmm. Oh. We're up to two slots now, so. Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna worry about putting any batteries into that, into the APC right there. No need. I do need to charge my suit battery though, that's why it's in the, the thing over here. Yeah. <clears throat> 3256. Okay. So we're gonna have to put a transformer in between. Wouldn't it have been better to put the tran this transformer outside between those two then? No. The reason why is because apparently the area power control does not care about how much voltage goes through it. Uh huh. And so it was allowing the power from its battery going to this battery to go full max, which blew the wire. Oh. That's why I put it there. Water, water, water. Uh, 
food. We're gonna eat while we're stuck inside. Uh, go ahead and turn off your light. Yeah. What are you doing? You're not making lights, are you? No. Making a nice crusher. Ah. Uh, do you have ice? No. Oh. But we can actually go out and crush ice. Yep. Uh, let's see. connector. Oh. What's the steel sheet for? Or the iron sheet for? Oh, the crusher. Duh. That just needs to be piped in. Yep. Why do you keep moving that around? Because they're in my way. <laughs> do you have any more wire? Yep. There you go. Mice to put in it. And pipes to connect. Yep. That between the solar panel and the outlet. Okay. So that it only allows it to flow in one direction. Okay. <laughs> hey, look, there's a full battery. Yeah, I was throwing it because it was full. Oh. Here we have an empty battery. Any iron? Do we have enough iron to make another two lockers? Uh, no. No, we do not. Okay.
Now, did you just open the door? Yep, I just opened the door. Why? So I went outside to uh, put that park door up and take a screenshot. Locker's full. Yep. We could actually use the, uh, you know, we could use the uh, uh, portable air conditioner to cool it down in here. You know? It doesn't work as well as you would think it would. Why not? Why, why, why wouldn't it work? Because it has an internal tank, and once the internal tank gets full, then you have to empty it. Doing? Where'd that go? Playing with the empty. In essence, I'm just organizing. Cause why? Cause there's nothing else to do. We gotta wait for nightfall. Yeah. I wish I could tell how much juice is in this battery. <laughs> oh wait, I probably could. With the network. Oh, it's nightfall. We can go back outside now. Yay. Okay. Time for some more coal. need to get the uh, furnace back working so we can make some more or smelt some more iron. We have an arc furnace. I know. It's so much faster than the big furnace. We have an arc furnace. It's so much faster than the big furnace. <sighs> what do we need to do to get the big one running? Working on it. I'm just out here mining away then. <laughs> Collecting resources.
All right. Now that that's taken care of, gotta love screaming children. Oh yeah. Still not time good. I just realized what time it was here. This will actually be the last episode tonight. Okay. Go to bed. I gotta go to bed. Gotta open in the morning. Gotta love real life. Yep. It trans transitioned into my new position. Nice. It all opens now for me. Mostly. Bunch of iron, I've got gold. Okay, now what would happen if I was to put oxygen and hydrogen volatiles into the same tank? Uh, probably explode. Mm hmm. I should not do that, should I? Probably not. Yeah, no, nah, I'm not gonna do that. Hey, look, there's some volatiles right there ground. Let's see here. More volatiles. This is where you mine the volatiles. I'm gonna grab this coal so we can throw it in the furnace or the generator. Oh don't forget to go uh, reconnect the cable on the, the solar panel. Oh yes. You got the cables, so I don't. Uh oh. Uh oh, what? I don't know. It was being weird. I'm like, why? Oh. Always weird. Keep it from blowing. Got gold in my inventory. What just what? happened? My brother lives in an apartment complex and has Alright guys, well, uh, I hope y'all have enjoyed this episode. This is going to be the final one that we do tonight. <laughs> I hope y'all have enjoyed it. Y'all stay tuned for more on the Riot Tech channel.